Hey everybody, it's Moose Toys back again with another Grocery Gang toy unboxing and review. And today we're going to take a look at some four packs from series number five, Time Wars. That is right, we have series number five on our channel today, and we have a bunch of groceries to look at and show all of you, all of you amazing Grocery Gang fans. Yes, so we have three four packs to open up today, and let's take a look at the packaging. All right, so at the top it does say four groceries inside. Woohoo! This is for ages five and up, and your mission is to find the ultra rare Rotbot groceries. It says the Grocery Gang, your Shopping's gone rotten, and there are 150 to collect across series number five. We have a window right here showing some of the groceries that we're going to get. Now, something fun about this is that you do have three visible groceries that each come with a little weapon, and it also comes with a icky flick plunger and then a secret mystery grocery inside. So we do have some blind bags in uh, this video today, which we know you all love. On the back, we do have a commentary that does tell you a little bit about series number five. So if you don't know what it's about, it's time to listen up. So it says, it's the grossest battle of all time. After accidentally opening up a time portal through a stinky toilet, the grocery gang are battling for their slimy lives. Ratbots from the future have flushed back in time and want to suck the yuck out of our moldy heroes. Gather groceries from all over time and launch them from their icky flick plunger. It's the muckiest battle of all time. It's the grocery gang time wars. And within our series, everyone, you have different collections. You do have Putrid Pirates, Time Wasters, Jurassic Muck, Scabby Samurai, Vile West, Medieval Muck, Rotbots, who are the villains, Computer Virus, and our limited editions, which are the Fungal Fossils. We also have some different rarities. You can get Common, Rare, Ultra Rare, Special Edition, and Limited Edition. Also, if you want, with your parent or your guardian's permission, everyone, feel free to download the Grocery Game free app. That's right, it's free. And in there you can play some fun grocery gang games and also keep track of all of the groceries you have collected. Alright everyone, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with this pack and get this one to open up. So, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna put these two to the side because we're gonna open them up a little bit later. And we're gonna open this one up like this. Go ahead and get this out. Alright, so inside the pack you do have the three groceries that are visible and then you also have your icky flick plunger, which we'll test out in just a little bit and you do have your blind bag which has your little weapon in it and then your blind bag that does have your mystery grocery as well as a checklist yes we all know you love a good old checklist we already went over all of the categories but we did want to show you something fun down here this is the instructions to use the icky flick plunger so you go ahead and you take the plunger you stick it down and then it sucks to the bottom of the table and then you place your grocery on top and then you flick it away so we cannot wait to do that later on in the video and there are also three special features you can get robotic groceries rock groceries or clear groceries so let's go ahead and take a look at the ones that we have as our visible ones first up we have muck evil book and muck up oh, there goes our plunger we're gonna put that to the side and muck evil book is from the medieval muck category and this one is a common and the way that I know that this is a common everyone is because we we do see a red toilet right next to the name of the grocery and if you flip it around we do have our key right here so red is common blue is rare green is ultra rare purple is special edition and orange is limited edition so our first grocery in today's unboxing is a common muck evil book all right so muck evil book you're gonna go right over here next up we have spewy sushi come on spewy sushi oh wait oh i forgot the weapon for uh muck evil book so for the weapon you easily just place it into this hole right here. It sticks right in. And there we go. That's better. McEvil Book is ready to fight the rap bots. All right, so back to Spewy Sushi. So here is Spewy Sushi. Let's get him out of the plastic. Let's grab our collector's guide and find out where he is. Do, 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 do. Here he is. This is from the Scabby Samurai collection, and this one is also a common.
common. So here he is right here on the collector's guide and then, or our rotten receipt collector's guide, I should say. And then here is the grocery itself. Very cool. Love the bandana at the top. Definitely looking like a samurai. Let's grab the weapon, which is right here. And we are going to stick the weapon right into uh, his hand. And there we go. We have Spewy Sushi. And the last visible one in our four pack is Tricera Slops. Here is Tricera Slops. Very cool that we do have some dinosaurs in our uh, series number five time wars. Let's grab our checklist. This one is from the Jurassic Muck category and it is also a common. Let's grab that weapon that comes with uh, Tricera Slops. Do, 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 do. Let's get that out and let's go ahead and put that inside the hand and there we go. We have Tricera Slops. All right, so Tricera Slops, you're gonna go right back there and let's find out what's inside our blind bag. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And who do we have? Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Look at this one, everyone! Look! Look at the mouth and the teeth! <laughs> Let's find out who this is. So this one's name is Scum Skull, and this one is a rare, everyone. We have our first rare of the video! And the reason I know it's a rare is because we have a blue toilet right by the name. And yeah, so we have a rare. Very cool. Let's also grab the weapon that comes in the separate blind bag. Don't forget this other blind bag, everyone. You don't want to have your grocery without a weapon when it's trying to fight the rot bots. So here we go. Scum Skull in the present but from the past. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna go right back here. And then also here is our plunger, our icky flick plunger. And the way this works, everyone, is that you stick it down to the bottom of the table. You go ahead and you grab your grocery and you put it on this peg right here. See that hole in the bottom of the grocery? Yep, right there. And you're gonna go ahead and you're going to in three, two, one, flick it. Oh, there it goes. Let's do another one. Let's go ahead and put McEvil book on here and in three, Three, two, one. Oh, there he goes. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and move on to our next four pack, shall we? Yes, we're gonna go ahead and put our plunger right over there. We're gonna have so many plungers in this video, everyone. Three to be exact. And next up, we have this one. So let's go ahead and get this one out of the box and take a look at it in some more detail. All right, so in this one, we only have one blind bag, no weapons. So I wonder what that means. Hmm, we'll have to find out at the... Uh, the end of opening up this guy, and it also does come with the collector's guide, but we already have a rotten receipt collector's guide right here, so we're just gonna use this one for the video. Our first visual grocery is from the time wasters category. Let's go ahead and grab our rotten receipt collector's guide. Let's find time wasters, and here it is. This one's name is Harm Clock, and it is a common. So here is Harm Clock. Very fun, very cool. Let's grab its weapon, which is right underneath it in the pack. It looks like it's a crooked arrow. See that? And we're gonna go ahead and put that inside uh, the hand right there. So Harm Clock is ready to go, ready to fight the rat bots. All right, buddy, you're gonna go right back here with your other grocery friends, your other groceries. Next up, we have this guy right here. This one's name is Grubby Club. It is from the Jurassic Muck category and it is also a common. So here is Grubby Club. Very cool, I love the unibrow. The unibrow is an eyebrow going all the way across. Very fun, and then we're gonna go ahead and take the weapon, take it out of the plastic, and stick it into its hand so that it is ready to once again fight the rock bots. All right, you're gonna go right back here with your friend. Oh, we have another plunger. Here's another plunger, which we just demonstrated earlier. We'll go ahead and do that again in the video a little bit later. See, look, it's like sticking to the table. <laughs> All right, oh, look, this guy fell over. Hold on, let's get him back up. And hold on, let's go ahead and grab McEvil Book. Let's bring him back, there you go. There's McEvil Book. One more to open up, and then we can open up our blind bag. So the last one we have is this guy right here. This one's name is Jurassic Jocks. Hello, Jurassic Jocks, and this one is from the Jurassic Muck category. And oh my goodness, we got another rare. Look at that mouth, look at the eye, so concerned. Maybe it's co so concerned because it doesn't have its little weapon. So let's grab its weapon, get it out of the plastic and stick it into his hand. And boom, we got him, ready to go. Okay, woo here we go. We're gonna open up our blind bag. We always love to open up the blind bags in our videos. We know it's like one of the most exciting parts. So let's find out who we got. Did we get a rock bot? <gasps> Did we get a villain? Who is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Dun, dun, dun! 
we have a rot bot. Let's find out who this is. So this one's name is Burp Rito Bot. Get it? It's like a burrito, but it's a Burp Rito. Haha. <laughs> this one is an ultra rare because we do see a green toilet right next to it. Let's go and take a look at our guide. And yep, a green toilet does mean ultra rare. So our first ultra rare of our video today is Burp Rito Bot. Something really fun about the rot bots, everyone, is that it does have some hard plastic on it. And then the rest is squishy. Dee, 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 dee. We see a bunch of neon colors and the robotic eyes. Ooh. Why don't we go ahead and put this one on the plunger and see what happens. So we're going to push our plunger down. There we go. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And we're going to put it onto the peg. We're going to launch this one back. And in three, two, one, we're going to let it go. <laughs> there it goes. So we're gonna go ahead and put the rot bot over here because we definitely do not want our rot bots next to our groceries because our groceries are trying to get rid of the rot bots because the rot bots have come to cheap town to take over. So no thank you. You're gonna stay right over there. And we're gonna move on to our last four pack which is this one right here everyone we have some good ones to show you so let's go ahead and open this one up okay so once again we do have one that does not have a second blind bag so that must mean that this is possibly a rot bot or a computer virus so uh, we're gonna put that to the side it does come with a rotten receipt collector's guide which we already have so see you later and it does come with another plunger so we have three plungers already oh my goodness so many plungers to play with so one two three Three, and here are the three visible groceries. The first one we're going to take a look at is Sir Muck Knuckles, right here from the medieval muck category. And this one is a common, looks like a uh, looks like a glove. And we're going to take the weapon out as well. Let's go ahead and put the weapon in Sir Muck Knuckles. Uh, Knuckles, and there we go. Here is Sir Muck Knuckles from the medieval muck category. Very cool. Lots of medieval mechs in this opening today, huh, everyone? We are very much so looking forward to which one is your favorite grocery in the comment section below, but don't do that just yet. Wait till we open up the blind bag and let's take a look at the other two visible groceries that we have from our last four packs. So we're gonna take a look at this guy right here. This one is from the Putrid Pirates category and this one's name is Busted Cut Glass. It is a common and it is actually the first Putrid Pirate of our opening today. Woohoo! You are the lucky number one putrid pirate for today. So yeah, here he is. Let's go ahead and grab his weapon out of the plastic, which is this right here. Ooh, very cool. And we're going to... Oh, look! It's like a little fish! Ha! Ah, look at that! That's fun. And we're gonna go ahead and get it because, you know, it's a pirate and pirates are on the ocean and there's fish in the ocean. So there we go. That is awesome. Wow, look at that. And it even has a little mustache. Ha! Huh. Moving right along to our last visible grocery. We're gonna take a look at this one right here. And we do have another putrid pirate. This one's name is Barf Shark and it is a rare. Woohoo! We got a rare. We got a rare, and its name is Barf Shark. And the reason we know it's rare is because of the blue toilet right there, everyone. Don't forget to use our key right up here if you don't understand which is which. And we do have a weapon to put into the hand. Oops, it just flew. All right, so Barf Shark, you're gonna get that fish bone, it looks like. You see that? Look, it's like a fish bone. <laughs> it does have slime on the top and some shark teeth, and it's pink. Super cool, and now it's time for our last blind bag. All right, let's see who's inside. Hmm, I think it's a rot bot, everyone. Taking a look at our rot and receipt collector's guide, we can see that we found this rot bot right up here in the top left corner. This one's name is Putrid Pear Bot. We see a green toilet right there, which means it is an ultra rare. So we do have another ultra rare which we were super excited about before we were going to open up the blind bag. But yeah, so we have another Rotbot to join our other Rotbot right over here. And who was this over here? Burp Rito Bot. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and put this one with uh, Burp Rito Bot. So we only have two Rotbots and the rest are all groceries. Haha, -ha! the groceries have had success 
without numbering the rock bots. Now, just for fun, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to use the plunger one last time to see it flick some groceries all over the place. So let's take our plunger, let's stick it down. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and take Triceraslops and we're going to put it onto the peg. And we are going to try to hit the rock bots. So let's see if we can aim it. And in three, two, one. <laughs> We hit the Robots! Yes! We did it. Alright everyone, let us know in the comment section what your favorite grocery is from today's unboxing. And once again, as always, have fun collecting the grocery gang. We do love, love, love to bring you new members. And we're so excited to bring you Time Wars. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you like Grocery Gang, if you like these toy unboxings, don't forget to hit subscribe right down there. And we will see you all in our next toy review and unboxing of series number five, Time Wars. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.